Hey yo, bro, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe right now. Or this pinhead Patrick will be in your bed tonight. I wouldn't risk it. Little bitch, oh yeah, yeah. She wanna ride this down. Uh, she wanna step on the Gucci and Prada. Bitch, what the fuck are you lying? Yeah. I never lie, her hair's the same. Yeah, I pray to the Bible. Oh. She see my face when you too. Yeah, you know she's just grabbing. Here we gon' pull up and pop him. In the car with my niggas, we mobbing. Back in, set safe, we shopping. Prada, that's all on my feet. Little boy, you better not step on me. When she pull up on you, she smoking weed. When she pull up on me, she fucking on me. I'm married to dinner, bought me on my feet. You never seen nobody with all my mother. Me. She was tripping, yeah, I had to show her. Yeah, she was never worried. Yeah. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Craig Cobby. Come here with another b -b -b banger. Now, before we get into this banger, y'all, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe for daily bangers or right, for every other day bangers and daily streams. Now, I have been going crazy on the streams lately. I haven't been going really crazy on the videos because it is the end of the year. I gotta slow it down so because there really ain't that much content to make. Every content, every video really already have been made. So that's why y'all see me more on the streaming side, the content side. But yeah, I've been enjoying my stream lately. Yesterday, I got raided by Jayla. Yeah, Jayla. So if she watched this video, which she probably not. Thank you for the raid. We got raided. I just showed that you just gotta grind. Unexpected. I wasn't expecting it. It just came out of nowhere. But that's, just keep grinding. You're gonna get your little recognition every now and then. But yeah, the content have been very limited. But trust me, I have a few. I have a, I plan to make a few more videos before 2K21. Drop the prelude gonna drop soon. I'm going to be on a prelude, then I'm going to be on a game, so I only got like a few more videos for 2K21. So this year has been a very good year, a good blessing, a good head, a good jump start to 2K21. Because 2K21 is going to be my year, I'm going to get the game, I'm going to get the game as soon as it come out, which is, that, that's like, when every, when every 2K I had, I never got the game as soon as it came out. So yeah, but let's get into the video, we're going to be talking about the best, bass, uh, bass setup and jump shot for 2 x Playmakers. Playmaker. Now before I get into the video... Y'all know I do this with every jump shot related video because y'all think it's y'all be y'all just don't listen. Y'all just hard headed buy a jump shot boost to shoot at the best of your ability. If you want to shoot like all your favorite content, oh yo, I said all your favorite content creators, all your favorite comp players, all them the people you look up to, they have jump shot boost. They don't buy it probably because they already want a limited uh boost, but you gonna want jump shot boost if you don't already have a limited boost. Me. I keep jump shot boosts on me. You really don't need no other boosts unless I don't know. But really, only boost you need is jump shot boost to shoot at the best ability you can shoot. You see me? I keep the jump shot boost aside, aside, aside. Even though I've been kind of fifty lately, but we ain't gonna talk about that. It's gonna help you out shoot at the best ability you can shoot. But what's I'm talking about? But yeah, let's get into the uh, bad setup because i'm gonna, I'm gonna put y'all on game i'm putting y'all on best choice to play my bad setup now it's already in if you're right if y'all don't really already have a bad setup but i'm just putting y'all on game now my bad setup might look different from other choices to play max but i promise you y'all the giant slayer don't need to be on gold i promise you on silver it still works as it should be now you it, it do work on gold like when you put it on gold it still go crazy I just, I just feel like, in my opinion, you, you can just have it on silver and it still do the same. It doesn't go. You should always have contact finisher to max it can be. You should always have fancy footwork. If you're a twist as a playmaker, you're gonna hop state. You're gonna hop step. We don't take no skill to submit it though. We're gonna use the hop step and we're gonna need slippy finisher for the non contest hop sets. It's a overpower broken build. We're gonna use it to its finest. If it's overpowering broken, we're gonna use it overpowering broken. Like I said, all you need, in my opinion, is silver or giant slayer. You really don't need nothing else. Now, when it comes to shooting, a lot of twist sets of players have it different. Most people have it on silver. I put it on silver every once in a while. When I put my jump shot, uh, quick draw on silver, I put hot stars on. And when I use silver, that's when I use like 38 and suns out, guns out. That's the only time I put it on silver because those are just two goaded things, a combination. But I be keeping it on gold. I use um my jump shot. I'm gonna show y'all today, which is related to what I'm talking about right now. Um, range standard on gold, house on hunter on gold. You always want to have that the highest it could be. Those one of the most necessary badges in the game. Green machine on bronze. People be hype. People be hyping it up, meaning they would say uh, silver, hollow. No, you really don't need it that high. All you need is on bronze. Sometimes even run a hot start more than a green machine, because it really don't matter. Especially if you're a two such a playmaker, the, the higher you really, the highest you really want it to be on is silver. But I feel like hot start is better than green machine. I don't know why. In my opinion, hot start is better than green machine. But that's the best shooting bad setup for a two such a playmaker. Now, right now, these are my dribbling clip ISO one v one. These are those type of badges now. I don't run these badges when I play comp. I run these when I play for clips. But I will show you the badges I do run when I play comp. 
but mostly the best up y'all just saw right now that's when i play for clips because you don't want to have like four general and diamond on when you're playing for clips that's a here's what's your best points but when i'm playing um cop i this is my loadout right i mean i play too much warzone this is my bad setup right here you you see gold gold diamond uh hall of fame floor general Hall of, uh, Hall of Fame Handle for Days and Hall of Fame Quick First Step. Now, Hall of, Handle for Days and Quick First Step, you really shouldn't touch no matter what. Those are the two main badges you should always keep. A uh, Pokeball and Silver, because they really don't do nothing. Especially in 2K20, Pokeball don't do nothing to help you at all. You don't really need to hire. Sight Handles or Bronze, it help, but it don't help as much as it do in Hall of Fame. Needle Threader, when I'm playing Cop, I keep Needle Threader because it just helps the tough passes. I promise you, it helps a lot for Bronze. Actually, uh, um, underrated it's left on badge and Bello. I feel like I just need it on bronze, especially if you have a high passing. I don't feel like you really need it on go, unless you playing something like stage or a wager or something. But I just keep mine on bronze. But when I, you know, recently I've been playing for clips. We finna, y'all finna see the last my last took at 21 montage soon. So this is the loadout. This is the dang. This is the bad setup. I'll be rocking with the uh, playmaking. This is the best bad setup. Let me know in the comment section. Just let me know in the comment section if y'all see if y'all think like y'all have any better bad setup. Cause I honestly want to know. Honestly want to know. Now for defensive bats, I feel like clamps and intimidator. You should always set clamps and intimidator the highest it could be. Those are one of the two, not if not the most important badges in the game. Chase down is on bright. I feel like that's all you really need on. Chase down bright is just really slept on. If you don't have it on, trust me, you gonna have, you wanna you're gonna wanna come on. It helps you in clutch situations, especially when you need a chase down. It's so clutch, bro. I promise you. Interceptor on silver, bro. You can. It still works good on bronze, but I feel like you should. You should want it on silver. It just. It for me, it just helps. Like I get the ball instantly. Now off ball pass. If you're a lockdown, you get crazy bumps. Like they made it so crazy this year that lockdowns get the most bump, the craziest bumps in the world. Pit dodger. I only have that on silver when I'm like playing twos or something. I feel like if I'm on a one v one card, I put pickpocket on Hall of Fame and pogo stick on Hall of Fame. But since I'm just on the two score, you always want to have pick dodger on silver. That's the highest you really need to be. Just because it don't work no different on higher. They've been testing that with all that stuff. Pickpocket on gold. Pogo stick on gold. If y'all want, y'all can take one off and answer to put pogo stick on Hall of Fame. Pogo stick on Hall of Fame could really be important. Now, like I said in the on the last um bat setup, let me know y'all opinion down below. I honestly want to know what y'all running and what y'all like. Which I'll rock with in the um conversation down below. Just let me know, chat. But now let's get to the jump shot um segment of the video. Now for the jump shot chat, remember 2K21 is really about all about personal preference, all right? And get used to the jump shot. Don't expect to put on the jump shot and be a demon god in one second, unless you have used this type of similar base before. Cause you know 2K21, the base is like is really all that really matters. I mean, sometimes sometimes it depends what the um the release is, but most of the time the base is the only thing that really matter. So if y'all don't know the base, don't expect to be a demon immediately. Just get used to the jump shot. It takes time. Don't call it ass in one game. Trust me, it's not ass in one game. Like I said, get used to the jump shot. You're gonna thank me in the comment section below. If y'all don't rock with the jump shot, let me know in the comment section down below. I want to see y'all opinion, bro. And if y'all don't rock with it, tell me a better jump shot, and I'll test it out and I'll see if you're right. But yeah, let's get into my jump shot. If you haven't already, make sure I like, comment, and subscribe for daily streams every day uploads. This helpful. This y'all want these little helpful little quick mini series. Yeah, yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe, especially if y'all join the content, buddy. Now let's get into the jump shot. And like I said, it's all about personal preference. So don't think you're gonna be a demon god if you haven't used this base before. But it's a very well known base. Jump shot 98. I feel like everybody used that base one time in their 2K career. If you haven't used jump shot 98 one time in your 2K career, I feel like you're just you're just, you're just, I don't know, because everybody uses it. I use this when I had no quick draw. Everybody should have used this. Like, it's the fastest jump shot in the game. Jump shot 38, Larry Bird and Bill Lambert. 65, Larry Bird, 35, Bill Lambert. Thank me in the comments down below, because this mug is automatic. It's so beautiful. What um I recommend, Suns Out, Guns Out, and Mic Drop with this jump shot. Those are the best jump shot landing, especially for gold quick draws. going to boost your green one though by tremendously it's gonna help y'all a lot now this is the end of the video if y'all haven't already make sure to like comment and subscribe for daily streams and every other day uploads like i said we've been running a lot of content because everything had pretty much been done this year there's nothing really else i need to cover 
So the rest of the videos I might drop most gonna be like content wise videos. I still gotta make that testing subscriber jump shot video. And the next video, y'all gonna like the probably the, I don't know when I'm gonna upload that video, but y'all gonna like that one too. It's your boy Craig. Copy me, shout out, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm up, bro.